Cloister Refectory. Oopsie, here we are. Lucas. God bless you. God bless you. Working on the kitchen. Yes, still assisting brother Wosio. Been making some complex dinners recently for Father Gono. The rest of the brothers eat simpler for but the abbot has the privilege of food from around the world. Oh my god, what a jerk. Why is the abbot such a fancy food? She been cooking. She showed me how to roast quail and baste it with butter to keep it soft. And I help sister Gertrude when she goes on the forest sometimes. She has been teaching me about the herbs. What are you doing now? Oh, I'm. Um, Brother Wosio sent uh, to collect something for him, but I can't remember what it was. Something from the cellar. Probably. I, uh, there's so much in there, though. Maybe I bring back a few onions. He'll be happy. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Okay. Adiok. The father is being hedonistic. That's heretic. Yeah, Dice can't cope with the hedonism. <laughs> is is that you again, Andreas? Yes, brother. Uh, I have the book I wanted to ask you about. Oh, I'm afraid I may not be much of help. I can barely read anymore. I can describe it. I can re describe it to you. It's a book about origins, humilis, written by the fine book hand. And signed around the edges. Yes, know it. Do you know how it come from? Where I wrote it? Andreas, forget this book. Came from the place of fire in the terrible darkness. What? This cover, these leaves, they bear the marks of the great evil that was done. A soul can also bear such marks. Carry them from lifetime. <gasps> Somebody has a tattoo. Who sold the person that wrote the book? There's a presence in the watch over this place. The presence that wishes for things to remain as they are. <clears throat> Smokey Colin told me a story about the ghost of Roman ruins. Yep. Sister Mary told me that before Byron was murdered, this is the devil's presence. Yeah, fuck it. We, we, we tell about Margaret. Is that what you mean? I cannot say more. Sorry. What? I dare not for your own good. God protect you. What? <laughs> what the hell, idiot? Fuck off. <laughs> Master Marler. Yo, brother, how you been? Uh, Matthew, no, since uh, Prior, yeah, since uh, shortly after friends met his end. So, uh, and I'm well, thank you. I will not bother you with questions about your life and career. It's clear you have done well for yourself. Of course, I'm sorry about brother Piero. I know you work closely with the scriptorium. He's missed. Thank you, I appreciate that. Certainly, no, if you will excuse me, I must return to my duties. Bye. Work pet. Bless you. Wash love. Bless you. Rudiger Andreas. Oh, it's a wonderful to see you again. How are things? I've actually been to Paris recently. Huh? 
I'm glad to hear it. Forgive me to asking, but how did you find the music in Paris? Beautiful. Notes and chansons were quite popular. Uh, I think you quite like it. I believe I would thank you. Perhaps if God bless us, we may see some of those compositions before long. I love our music, of course, but I'm interested in what being created across Christendom. I suppose you can have to pay your respects to Brother Piero. I'm sorry. He was a wonderful man and a faithful servant of Christ. He was. Well, despite the okay occasion, it's good to see you again. God bless. Gloriana. He's awesome. Wonderful to see you. Have you been well? Not lately. I'm sorry to hear. I hope you wish Kirsty can bring some relief. What brings you back to here? I wanted to pay respect. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. I know it's a small consolation, consolation that he lived a long life with a little pain. He died quite suddenly during a louds mosaic hour of dawn one of the two major hours it used to morning prayer he was well loved by everyone here even those who might pretend otherwise i'm sure he appreciate the gesture of as you visit i cannot speak with the abbot authority but you're always welcome company thank you have you are you good i've been reading every italian medical text Klaus Strucker can get his hands on <laughs> really many yeah i haven't counted but many leonardo's text of the french disease which might have been helpful for the baron all those years ago the faculties of medicine has a new printing from venice it's wonderful with guts Oh, the flower of medicine from Salerno. Did you know that they translated into Hebrew? Action? Imagine that. I imagine a peasant in the fields of Provence reading the medical wisdom of Salerno. Hey! Mission a push, Polish mercenary doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you imagine it? <laughs> what wonder these books are. I got carried away. Anyway, it's good to see you. Until later. Oh man. Dude, you are awesome. I love you. Oh, okay, that was Flory. What now? Hey doggy. Okay, it's, it's time to go and die, I think. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> it was good. Now we go, go and die. <sighs> I don't want to. <laughs> God bless you. <clears throat> I'm glad to see you received my invitation. Are you ready to eat? Yes. Oh, it's so cold. Good. <laughs> my God. Yes. Thank you for coming to dinner. I will admit it was a surprise to receive your invitation, Father. But I'm pleased to come. Yes. Well. Uh, when I heard you had returned to passing, uh, the Lord convinced me, my heart, to let bygones be go bygones. Oh my God. So, she's so full of it. Jerk. <laughs> I think it's a high time we re reconciled, we reconciled Master Mother. Please sit and we will pray together. 
Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Lord, direct each of us toward our wisdom, prudence, and guidance to our future actions. Through Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Woo, look at this. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Heliosum. Brother Voslo was indeed prompt in delivering my message. I surprised you this this, uh, this didn't drop by at all. You have done quite well for yourself, after all. Good to see that your time at Kirishu has not expanded. You have even looked at part of the famous artist now. When have you been doing your recent years after leaving such a mess in Tessing? Wow. <clears throat> the city the city council did approve me a master a commission I spent much of the time painting commissions in France and learning from the other artists there yes PC selling out to the astro kiri yes <laughs> better than selling out to the church father <laughs> Woo! yeah roast him <laughs> Why have you asked me here? Anyways. In truth, I had hoped to discuss the rising tensions between the Abbey and the townspeople. I'd like to clarify the situation for you, Andreas. <laughs> of course, just like you clarified to Piero that's so guilty of this. Yes! Let's go there! Let's go! Let's poke the bear while he's sleeping! Let's go! Let's go! Go, go, go! This is precisely why I asked you here. I am trying to prevent another terrible situation like that. I believe you are only heard from one side of this issue, Andres. All those little speeches about taxes don't account for the entire situation. Why demand such high taxes then, father? Nom, 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 nom. I didn't see what I eat! No! Uh, that's the dessert, so it's okay. If it's not pizza with pepperoni, I don't know. Uh, with the scripture um, closed, the taxes are necessary to make up for the lost income. Most theatric scripture have been falling out of fashion for a century. You didn't plan for the inventor preventing other renovation streams. Yes. I don't put the fault on me, Andreas. <laughs> These taxes are direct consequence of uh, your actions. Wow! I just wow! <laughs> Jerk! <laughs> Kirsi was different ever. Until recently, the monastery had patrons like Lawrence to keep it keep it going. Since then, I've been trying to find another rendezvous, but the other brothers won't cooperate. Or I hear my ideas, especially Adyuk. Brother Guy has gone over the expenses himself. Raising taxes is the best way to cover this. Oh, don't trust Guy. He is a jerk. Hmm. But what about uh, prohibiting the peasant from using the forest? Okay. Okay. Um, Lebkuschigen peasant. Oh, we can't eat that. Uh, whatever this is. Lebkuschigen. Okay. Let's go. No wine for us, though. The forest belongs to the abbey, and the peasants have no right to use it. Leg legally, it's theft. It doesn't harm the abbey to let the tons who pick up sticks. You're being a pathetic ass. Yes! <laughs> You're a fucker. Fuck, fuckity fucker. I'm upholding the law, Andreas. The monastery needs revenue and those folk have no being terrible. They have nothing left to give. And you see in the gardeners, they barely afford the bread. Perhaps you ought to be more terrible with the gardeners if you have money moved by their ply. Have you no pity for them? I'm more upset to hear that those who have no pity for us. I heard they will continue their disobedience by collecting herbs on St. John's Eve. 
tones snow and forbid it the matter is grave and i will excuminate wow with the final order you would condemn a town over something so petty that's insane you may not like my methods order must be okay we are poisoned now by the way remaining imperial with the invisible impossible as long as you are in talk support me in ending this foolish you have the reputation of in this tone andreas you successful man and the townsfolk believe in like you i'd like you to convince the other townsfolk the printer for example that this uprising is not their best interest the rest of the town will follow and the peasant will have no he chance of to resist okay don't want the town to come to harm it is a precarious situation but i understand your point of view no the peasant have guinean greaves why not talk with them and negotiate yep i want no part of this either way i don't have to stake this the peasants have right fathers you have been too harsh on them it won't help you damn your plan damn you father kind of want to say that but let's go there i'm for a forgiving man but Otto's stubbornness has challenged even me Otto is past the point of talking and there's that's why i'm begging you for help of the matter please take more time to think about it i apologize we must conclude for now fuck i must excuse myself i accept to lead the service of compliment <sighs> I fucked up i think <laughs> think of a disgust address i trust you can find your way out i will father good night damn it it's all going to hell jesus christ give me strength god damn god damn god damn i'm going to go into the forest i think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's uh, go. Uh, down to the forest. Santiago. No, nothing's happening there. Okay. Naked uh, lake ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. No, no ladies in the lakes. Two innocents. Yeah. That's a fucked up story right there. No, no lake ladies. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Smokey! Hello! Looking well, thank you. How are you? I am good, good, good. May have fewer days, I suppose. Going to happen. I miss the company sometimes, but uh, don't keep me on my ghost ship. No one tell me it either. Maybe you should take it to confessions instead ah father thomas doesn't have the stomach for what i know <laughs> besides he wouldn't recuperate <laughs> even if there are some particularly interesting tidbits oh i see another imperial 
great rich post the private mail service run by the turn of taxis family carry a ride from the abbey years ago uh, days ago brother guy dropped the bag once it looked heavy yeah guy is a fucking fucker he's a fucker the abbey must be doing better than uh, abbots letting on curious isn't it the curious arrive once or twice a month doesn't help that the abbot has tightened the restrictions St. John's Eve too. Then Tovson gets up to all sort of mischief then. What sort of mischief? I'd wager John and Cat will find some corner to play play in again. The particularly tradition is this point. Veronica and Brigitta might go out of a midnight dip. <laughs> yeah baby! Lake ladies! They are been swimming out there for years. Now everyone's getting cl clever trying to stay out from the abbot's eye. He's an ass. I didn't see that you tone comments during the speech, aren't you with the peasants? Well, their cause doesn't really affect me, does it? I I'm worried everyone about soldiers rushing through here. But the new taxes and restrictions don't bother me. I understand why they're upset, but uh, been doing fine with less than they have. Nothing will change for me. Oh well, enough of that. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Ah, fuck. We are, we are going back to the clo cloisters. And uh, we are we are going to confront G Geek with this. No, fuck. No, no, no. We are going. I'm going to try to find uh, Abbott again, Mister Asshole. Hello, Asshole. Are you here? Fuck. You are somewhere else. Are we in the chapter house? We are getting murdered, I think. Oh, the blood is uh, gone. Okay. Chapter house. Infirmary. I'm, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to click to find Guy, so I'm just snooping around. Maybe the church? The church? Let's see if we find him in the church. Noopity noop noop. We have Matthew again. Bless you. Okay. He, do, he do not like us. Ah, oh, fuck, we have been here. <coughs> ah. Cloister. Uh, dormitory. Kitchen. Where, where is everybody? <laughs> kitty! Hey kitty! Hey, he hasn't eaten. He didn't want that. Ah, Sorry kitty! Meow meow. Shaman commentary.
<laughs> Nothing. Where is everybody? Are they out bo boinking? Doing the haba haba? Goes, it sounds like there are more people than just me here but I just think this is a big waste of time <laughs> fuck fuckity fuck fuck okay where where over the rainbow so we haven't died by poisoning so what now Any suggestions, thoughts? He is like, what the hell? <laughs> Where is every? I don't know. Could I uh, go here and see? There's no, uh, there's like no way. Can you tell me? He said he was going to the ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to. Uh, oh, Guy said. Oh, okay. So I'm just wasting my time here. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to tell him, him but uh, maybe it just. This is where we should be. Uh, the bonfire thing. I was just th trying to be smart ass. <laughs> and, and trying to. jump the because that that is what the game is telling me but then i went into forest and i got that information uh, so that's new information i could use and i wanted to tell people before too long you know but uh, there is the fucker let's go oh man i can't do anything about it He's stealing. He is the one that's uh, sending us those letters. What a jerk. Meow, meow. Okay. Let's party up. Well, well, <laughs> you're the artist. Got mixed up in the wonderful killing of the rat of Barium. I know your damn name. Anyway, no time to talk now, fancy man. Time to call to the fire. Saints Eve, right? Oh <laughs> yeah, mama, Pertra. 
for this Alps. Yeah, she's pagan, true and true. Oh no. We burn for you. Oh. We you. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that, she, she's burned witch. <laughs> oh, okay then. Very nice. <laughs> Enjoy the evening, and yes. <laughs> but if you want my advance, stay out of the woods tonight. <laughs> no, I'm going to say lake ladies. So, fuck that noise. Casper, yo man, what's up, man? Uh, as well as big event. No, I've never seen anything like this. Can I stay in the bonfire and see the costume and watch them collect herbs? All right. Yeah. Uh, we're probably getting him killed, but eh. Good evening, Andres. Grandpa, look. Eh. Oh, the artist is still around. <laughs> I thought to say and enjoy the festivities. Bah! You call this festival? <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. You're not, you're not going to tell the story again, are you? You kids need to learn about the heart. Learn it by the heart, else Percha will ruin, run you down. It is, is this about the wild hunt? Wild hunt. In Germanic folklore, the wild hunt is a supernatural cavalcade of spirits and fiends which may cause destruction and important wars. Other catastrophe has not adequately appeased. The wild hunt is often led by a legendary figure such as Percher or the devil. Okay.